Chief, we can't keep living like this. What do you mean, Walt? We have seven dollars to our name, and we live in an ice cream van that used to be a crime scene. I, I can't, I, we can't go on like this. We don't even have enough money to pay for this pizza. Why did you even buy it? You're not even eating it. Because I'm busy talking to you. Then what do you suggest we do, Walt? I, I don't know. I, I, we need to find somewhere to live. We need some sort of location to reside in. Chief, we can't spend the rest of our days in some $100 van that a strangely muscular old man gave us. Are you ready to pay the bill? What? Are you ready to pay me money for the pizza that you have purchased from me? No, not yet. Can't you see I haven't finished eating it? You haven't even started eating it. Why should I assume you're going to finish it? I used to be a cook like you, a, a, a satisfying product. Can't just be finished in such a short space of time. I need, I need more time to finish it. Are you calling me a cook? That is a very strong word. Does that offend you? Yes, because I am far from a cook. A cook's job is to prepare and make the food. Mine is to freeze it for three years and then put it in the microwave. You microwave this pizza? Yes, but how would you even know you haven't even tried it? Now, will you pay me or not? I don't like the way you're talking to my friend, Mr. Pooh. How do you know my name? It is on the, the sign at the, in, in front of the building. Oh yes, so it is. Will you be paying me or not? What what happens if we don't? Walt, Walt, we have uh don't we have a, a million dollars in our uh, ice cream van uh, back there? Yes. Yes, we do, chief. That is exactly right. Uh allow us to go fetch our 1 million dollars. Then we will pay, pay for this pizza, do not worry. Now allow me to take that! You haven't been into your wallets for this pizza! Allow me to pay you with my monetary value! You, you just threw a pile of random shit on me. Mr. Fresh, what have I told you about paying for other customers? You two know each other? Yes, he is my only recurring customer. And he doesn't pay in money, he only pays in random things. Money doesn't really exist around here. Society. Oh, but anyway, I, I'll go and pay for these guys' things, and I, I couldn't help but over here. Uh, you, you're looking for somewhere to stay? Well, I know a place where you can move in for free. No way. For free? This, this, this is not possible. Well, I'm afraid it is possible. This place is not too far from here. It's got free rooms in it. It's awesome. When is the earliest we can, uh, go there? Man, you can goddamn go right now if you want! Damn, radio's going out. Anyway, as I was saying, that's how I survived cancer and faked my death at the end of Breaking Bad. Awesome. I feel like this is... Some sort of scam or a trap or something. Wait, what? Th then why are we going there? You're literally the one behind the wheel. Even if this is a trap, I, I really don't want to sleep in the back of a van anymore. Let's hope this trap has at least a, a bed in it or something. I could really do with a comfy trap right now. Do you ever take the suit off? Why? Well, what if you're hungry, or, or need to take a huge piss? No. Why are you asking? You clearly aren't interested in my bodily functions. I could be. I'm a chemistry teacher, and one of the few people you probably find that's more interested in urine than the average Joe. It's just, well, I've known you for a, 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 maybe a couple weeks now, and you haven't taken the armor off. Can you take it off? I choose not to. Well, what if it smells like ass in there and you, you need a shower? Walt, even if I did take it off, we don't really have much of a house to shower in. The closest thing we have to a house somehow sounds like it has tuberculosis. <coughs> hey, I'm trying my best to keep this death trap on wheels running, but it has a mileage of numbers I've never even seen before. 
I think something died in the engine. Thank you, Cortana. Thank you, purple lady inside of our car. This must be it, right? We've been driving for ages and this is the first sign we've seen. So probably, it's quite a friendly sign too, with nothing to suggest any possible malice or ill intent. That is something I also noticed about the sign. I sure do enjoy signs that don't suggest any malice or ill intent. Stop. You know that feeling you get when you don't think you're alone? I don't think we're alone. What do you mean, Chief? Oh my god! A cyber meme? I guess there's still some just lying around. Let's keep our eyes peeled for anything else. I still think something else is out here. Damn, this must be it. It's huge. It is definitely a large building, Walt. Where is everyone? Shouldn't there be, like, more people? Damn! Hey guys! Uh, how are you doing? You got a little room to live in? That's why we are here, yes. Damn! What you guys think of the place so far? You like it? Where is everyone? Man, they're probably sleeping, I don't know. I, I ain't seen anyone in ages. Alright then. Uh, let me show you guys around. Yeah, you, you can check out some stuff. And check out all these windows we got! We got so many! Each window's a room! Are any of these our room? No, these rooms full as hell with people! Yeah, this is your room! This is where you're gonna be living! You got, you got a room! Uh, you got any new, new, new questions or queries to give me? Uh, just find me and drop your damn questions and I'll answer them! What about, like, eating food? Where, where do we get food from? Man, I don't know! Uh, okay. Is this the only room you have available? This is the best room in the whole goddamn hotel! Why, you got any complaint? No, there are, are no complaints here. Right, Walt? I love this room. I love how- Okay, cool! I'll see you guys later. Enjoy the room. Bye-bye! Right, what the hell was that all about? I'm getting a really suspicious feeling being here. Let's keep our eyes peeled. And then they all lived happily ever after. Where was the beginning of that story? You just sort of said that. Anyway, other than the absence of any other kind of resident besides this Mr. Fresh and the horrendous state that this room is in, I quite like it here. I do as well. I don't normally have a bed. Maybe this is just a really weird hotel with like, no guests. But all the rooms are fully booked. Maybe someone wanted to be an asshole and booked all the rooms. Or maybe the guests are dead! That is also an option. How have we all forgotten that this place is completely free? How did I not realize this? Oh yeah, that's also a good point. Perhaps this Mr. Fresh is just giving away these rooms out of the kindness of his heart. Somewhat plausible, but I doubt it. Well, I suppose our only option is to stay the night and see what happens tomorrow. I agree. Good night, Chief. Good night, Purple Lady. Good night, guys. I am not going out there. Chief, do you copy? What do you see? Nothing yet. The room is all trashed, though. More trashed than it was before. Now that is impressive. What the hell would come in here and just trash the room? Like, reverse room service. This is most peculiar. Chief! Hell 
is that? No longer human. Do you think there are more of them? Affirmative. We've got to find Mr. Fresh now. <laughs> Damn, zombies. I sure do hope there are no ghosts here also. Oh, oh. I have a ghost. I am evil. Oh, look at my spooky hands. I'm evil and a ghost. I am a dead, transparent man. Oh. Did you just punch a ghost in the face? Perhaps. He's got to be in one of these rooms. But which room, Walt? They are infinitesimally numerous. God damn it, Chief, I don't know. It could be any of these. Wait, he's there! We are sure that this man is behind all of these undead entities that we keep witnessing. Yes. Walt? Oh my god, zombies, again! <laughs> Chief, look out! A zombie! A zombie! Chief, look out! A ghost! Chief, look out! A zombie ghost! Walt, are you okay? Yeah, anyway, where were we before we were so rudely interrupted by these inconsiderate undead? We were gonna pay a visit to that Mr. Fresh. <laughs> Master Chief, say my name, and my colleague Walter White. What the hell? Surrender and explain your reasoning for why there is an obscene amount of undead residing within this location. Man, I don't know anything about any goddamn undead. You mean zombies? I ain't seen any goddamn zombies. There are zombies everywhere. We just killed like 50 of them. Man, 50? I didn't even see one! What? You, you're, you're lying. Man, do I look like a goddamn liar? Yes, absolutely. Wait, wait what? Oh my god. I'm so heartbroken. I, I, I'm, just, I'm just trying to be a lovely gentleman and give free homes to people that need them, man. What? Wait, are you serious? Yeah, I'm just doing this out of the kindness of my heart. Chief, what the fuck is happening? I don't think he's the bad guy, Walt. Are you sure? Have you seen this room? What the hell has he done to it? But he hasn't tried to kill us yet. I... Uh, is, is that how low the bar is? Listen, if this man is not guilty of making zombies, he's probably guilty of something else. So you didn't make all the zombies? Oh yeah, man! I got proof right here! 
Man, I sure do love not making zombies. Whatever I'm doing right now is the very antithesis of making zombies. You in a bathroom? I mean, I Whose house is that? Three hundred million things that I'm doing currently right now that is not making zombies. That's the last thing I'd ever do. I hate zombies so much, man. I am not going to question the origins of this video. As you can see in this recorded footage of me not making zombies, which means I'm not making zombies. I can't argue with that. This video is indisputable proof that this man has not been making zombies. So Walt, how do we stop them? I think I have an idea. Are you in position, Chief? Yeah, we are well hidden. The zombies are on the moon. It looks like the bombs are attracting them. That'll be the combination of bezalconium chloride and methylisothiazole that I used to put the bombs together. I'm sure they will work wonders, Walt. Oh, man! Thank you guys for helping me with this undead problem that I've only recently discovered thanks to your efforts. Don't mention it. All right, Walt. I think we've got as many as we can. We should set them off soon. Okay, good. Now be careful. These bombs will explode. I'm going to detonate them in three... Two, one, one, uh, one. What? It's not working. Chief! Oh, I finally found you, and you, you blew up all the zombies! Yeah! My motion sensors of convenience are telling me something else. Oh, damn! What, there more? How many? Not many. <laughs> we can pick off the last few stragglers. <laughs> Okay, now was that all of them? Hey guys, look! Up there! What? Chief! thing hit him pretty hard. He'll be fine. If I were you, I'd be worried about my own situation. Wait, what? <laughs> Man, what the hell was that? I'm sorry, what are you doing that is remotely helpful at the moment? I, I, I'm sorry, man. I, I'm just trying to provide moral support. I ain't good at fighting stuff. Well, there is a big dude coming towards us. <laughs> I, I... What a what? A big dude? What does that even mean? Oh man, that's scary as hell! Are 
purple lady, what the hell do I do? I'm afraid I can't help you from here. What? But you help Chief all the time. Yeah, he's wearing an armored suit I can interface with. You're just... skin. Thanks. Try and build distance and delay its path. Good luck! Chief, am I dead? Am I am I am I not alive? You managed to do that all by yourself? Uh I don't really know what happened. Nice work. Hey guys! You sure did a pretty good job. You killed all the zombies and that big guy and then that, that tongue man. And I, I, that, that was a fantastic job you did, guys. Uh, you, you guys are my friends now, uh, uh, but I, I'll see you guys later, okay? Bye! To think all this happened because we were trying to find somewhere to live. And instead, we found somewhere where many died. Do you want pizza? Yes. You dead, and he killed the the licky guy, and then and then the other one, that the ball guy, I don't know his name. And he killed the big guy, and then, yeah, man, it was amazing. You should have been there. You should meet them. They're my new friends. I can relieve that day a thousand times over. It was awesome. Bloody hell! You should tell me that story again. I've forgotten it. Well, anyway, it started with people coming to my goddamn hotel house, and then, I, and then I showed them to the penthouse suite. Room for one more. Hello? It is me, Norn Takuza, from the expanded media. No one has ever heard of me, and I'm putting together a team. I feel we could help each other out in a movie that releases in five years. Yeah, I don't care. Have you seen this man? No, I ain't seen any bald people ever. 
Yeah, I just sell low-resolution snacks for twice the price in my local store. <laughs> that's funny. I used to be bald once. Back when I had skin. Now I'm just a skeleton. Skeletons can grow here. So now I'm like double bald. Wow, that's a crazy story. And, and why are you a skeleton, may I ask? My soul has been preserved in this skeletal body by the use of minerals. Whoa! It's clear to me that you don't know anything about this man. And that's fine. So I'll see you around. I'll see you later. Bye!